Hello everyone, it's me again, Funk Doc, and I'm doing a two-player game here on Germany against Shang. I'm just letting Shang know, because uh, Shang is a, is a long-time uh, veteran of Power Grid. One of the people who was playing a lot at the time that I was when I started learning this on BSW. And uh, yeah, he has a really, really high win rate. One of the highest win rates on this site. He hadn't really been playing since I started getting back into this and doing my YouTube stuff. So it should be interesting. A bit five uh, for the four plant. Yeah. So what plant is going to the deck? 32. Okay, that's uh, pretty normal for two player. Not such a big deal. And Shang does the expected build here of Fulda. Makes a lot of sense. Need to think about this now. Need to think of what I do with the build in this one. I'll actually do this. I'll try to block the path to the south. This is a bit of an unusual build for me, but I'll give it a shot. This will let Shane get into one of the twins here, but then I can build into like... Mannheim. Anyway, I'm obviously going to put the 5 up for bid. When I'm at the top of the turn order, I really prefer the 5 over the 8. For the player at the bottom of the turn order, because they can grab a lot of cheap coal, I feel like the 8's better for the player at the bottom, and the 5 is better for the player on the top of the turn order for turn 2 here. And Shang is thinking the same thing, yes. A way, the way a lot of these Germany games, though, you could maybe argue that... You could maybe argue that the five is worth bidding six on, maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah. Shang does the expected obvious build in his case, of course. My next target now will be Mannheim. But that's obviously not going to come this turn. I want to go to the bottom of the turn order. Twenty-nine out, twenty-four in. Twenty-four is actually a decent market blocking plant. So here's a question. I have a decision to make here. Here's the deal. Do I take the 10 and pass the 13 to Shang next turn? Or do I pass this turn and let Shang give me the 13? But I make a little less money this turn. Hmm. I think I lean toward taking the 10 now, make a little bit more money here in the short term. Yeah, I think we do it this way. Unfortunately, this does mean Shang's going to get the 13 at cost, but 13 is not such a great fit for his plants. All right. And I'm just going to do this. And I will not build now. The reason is I'm forcing Shang not to build. Now the issue is I'm giving up Mannheim this way, but I have other places I can go. Besides, I can actually take Stuttgart if he takes Mannheim and still kind of lock up the south for myself. Yeah. Force Shang not to build. This is generally the play I prefer 
when I uh, have the 10 and my opponent has the 8 and we're both sitting at two cities. I don't build so that way they can't build and they can't burn their oil, is my thinking. Alright, 28 out, 50 in, so we know that's going to go under the deck this turn. And unfortunately, I have to pass this. Hmm. There's actually a decent chance 18 gets kept off the market next turn. Hmm. When I have the 10 and my opponent has the 8, it's in my interest to drive up the price of coal. That gives me a bigger money advantage from my plant's uh, greater efficiency. It's what I was thinking there with that massive coal buy in the last turn. I'm really liking this build I made the more I think about it. Because the thing I'm thinking of with this build is that... There's a lot of places I can go to grab a bunch of cities. Eighteen is going to be huge on the next turn, though. Assuming it stays on, I don't want to talk too soon just yet. Eleven would actually be good for me too. If that, like, if that came next turn, I would totally buy the eleven. I'd actually sort of welcome that. Because I'd be the player who gets the eleven because Shang would not want to drop me the eighteen at cost. See, the problem with Shang is, he has a lot of areas he needs to protect. A lot of areas he needs to protect, and he can't protect them all. Now, what would hurt me a little bit at least a little bit, is if he took Mannheim and Stuttgart at once. That would do a number to me. But then I can jump yellow. I'd be, I'd be probably looking to jump yellow, actually. Something I'd think about. I mean, Mannheim's the obvious one for him. Yep, he does that, which I expected. I just take Nuremberg now, and then I a possible jump next turn. God damn it. Uh, do I buy this now? I think I do. Yeah, I do this. I think the play for me is to jump into Erfurt now. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we do it this way. And 
drive up the fossil fuels as much as I possibly can. Especially with Shang being stuck with the eight. That's what I'm hoping will give me the advantage here. Because now I actually power more efficiently than Sh power four cities more efficiently than Shang will on this turn and get better turn order. The nice thing is, with the market moving so slowly here, like, Xiang gets cheaper cities than me to start, but he's not really getting the plants to make use of those cheap cities yet. Having to buy the 12 is not great for me, though. Okay, there is Shang's response. Uh, unfortunately, he's, uh... I think I just... I need, like, short-term money. Oh, I know that doesn't even do anything to run the, the 5, so never mind. Uh... Twenty-five. Okay. I think this is worth over thirty with this market. On Germany, with this bad of a plant market, I'll be happy if Shane gives this up to me now. Personally. He could theoretically get 21, though. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just do it, man. I do have to say, the builds are definitely not going great for me, though. Hmm. I got Shang thinking hard now. Must be a good sign. Okay. A slower market. 11's not too bad, but... I mean, Shang will definitely take 11 here, but... Yeah, it doesn't even get... Like you said, doesn't even get 23. Okay, 18's probably gonna end up being worth it now, I guess. Hmm. I think my play now is to not buy any resources this turn and then build Sarbrooken. I think that's my play. Because that'll make sure I get the cheaper connection of this. Because I can build one and still stay below Shang here, which is cool.
Shang still seems to be probably way ahead of me on money, though. In fact, I know he is. Mm, so that's a little disappointing to see. I'll burn the oil this turn, sure. 22, A. Well, another green plant to fight for. I'm paying big for the green plants, but I'm hoping it'll pay off here. Okay. Now I'm glad I burned that oil last turn. so sure I like my chances in this game, but Germany should give enough time for the green plants to make their money at least. I'm thinking I want to take Augsburg next. Shane taking a long time to think here. His issue is this. If Shane passes on plants, it would behoove him to build and move the market. But instead, he's going to do that. Is he just going to get out of coal now, I guess? No, he would power one less city that way. Like, he, he, it's kind of awkward for him to replace a plant here. Making him buy the nine at this point makes me feel a little better about myself that he's had to buy the 11 and then the nine this late in the game. Makes me feel better about my green plant choices. He is literally going to power one less city. All right. So let me make sure about this. Yeah, I can I can buy two oil and do this now. This works. No need for me to buy coal this turn, since Shang has no coal to speak of right now. Yeah, Shang, uh, he could, uh, 
He could let his ego ego run wild in some of our uh, games back years ago. But again, that was years ago. Maybe he's different now. I don't know. Maybe he's a bit more chill. I don't know if he's that is actually complimenting me there or what. But anyway. <laughs> Shang put in a rough spot now. <laughs> like, I assume he's going to build the seven out of the market because there's no good plant next turn. Otherwise, like... He could pass. I might actually take 20. Well, I don't know if I'd even want 23 next turn. Shang's situation is, basically, if he builds and then 25 gets kept off the market next turn, he's kind of screwed. And 25 is kept off the market. Womp, womp. Hey, I can attack his oil. Now I got the efficiency set up here. Yeah. Okay, now I'm feeling better about my position. I'm still not sure, because Shang definitely had the early money lead on me. He got cheaper builds. But I feel like I'm in a much better spot here. Well, hmm. Now the question is, do I build Munkin or Constans? And I think the answer to that is Munkin. So I'm only going to build one this turn. I'm only going to build one. I want to stay below Shang for sure. Yeah, I think Munkin has to be the better build here. As I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass the plant. Yeah, I'm just going to pass on plants. And hey, 26 in. Okay. Well, I shall uh, continue to just buy oil, because why the hell not? Make it painful for Shang, make it extra painful. And I'm going to stop there. See, I've cut off his cheap builds too, which is nice. He's not going to get any more of those. <laughs> yeah, he has no choice but to trigger step two now, for sure. At least, and at least the nice thing is this game, this, this gave me enough time to build my money back up to bid for a big plant were it to come. Um. All right. Ah, 25 almost pushed off the market. Almost. Well, 25 is obviously going to be much better than 26. And Shang desperately needs this plant. There's two major duds potentially left in the deck, but there's also 20 and 21, which would be very good drops for Shang as well. Oil Vortex is not going to be a whole lot of fun. I get coal stupidly cheap at the bottom of the turn order here, which is nice.
This is going to be worth money. All this cheap coal. And there's so few other plants using coal. A big problem Shang has too is, like if I get this and he gets 26, like he has to buy 26 if it comes up, obviously. But that's still going to bury him in more expensive fuel and allow me complete control of the coal market. Shang won't have any plants to drive up my coal costs for me. Experience tells me I should bid this up to at least 45. Yeah. 26 comes, which I expected. No regrets, though. And there's a dud there, 27, which is, well, you know, kind of a dud. Kind of a dud, TBH. All right. All right, well. The nice thing is I can build three cities here and still stay below Shang. This does mean like he probably wins the builds, but I'm okay with that right now. Okay. I'll pick off an pick off an oil here too. Right? Right? Might as well because I already have one oil on that damn plant. Uh okay, hold on here. Mm. 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 Tan. Yeah, I can build yeah, because of him having 26, me having 25, I get the turn order advantage. We're almost to step three, by the way. Yep. And Shang had to build Fre 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 Freeburg now. Okay. I'm actually going to burn the oil on 12 to power one city. Because that's just what we do. Now, I kind of wish I hadn't burnt that oil, but whatever. Need to think about this one. Think I would rather go for 21, maybe. Maybe I'd rather go for 21? I'm not really sure here. I'm actually not even sure what I should do. Because 30 is not in the game, right? 30 or 38 for that matter. Yeah, I think I'll bet on this, actually. 30 and 38, we know one of those plants minimum is not going to be in the game. Actually, we know that neither of them is. This is going to be the only trash plant. So trash is just going to get cheaper and cheaper each turn. I think this is my play. The thing with 21 is if I bought 21, I could have continued to attack oil for Shang. That's what I was thinking about with 21. But Shang, I feel, needs 24 a little more. I mean, Shang, I think, has to go for 21 now. 
He has to go for 21 just to induce me to, like, buy up extra coal now. I think is what he's thinking here. Yeah. Exactly right. Exactly the right play. But I think 21... Or rather, I should say... 24 will turn out to be worth its weight in gold. Just my thinking here. Heh, <laughs> Shang was hoping for something like a 20. Yeah, no, buddy. And yes, I'm forcing Shang to... Anyway. I just take the uh, the cheap cities now. I think that's the play here. I can do one of these babies too. Yeah. Sure, that's fine. Let me power my most cities possible. Ooh. This is interesting. to think here there's only one other seven capacity plant in the game so if i were to get stuck having to buy a five plant that would not be a good look for me okay good a dud came mega dud came so that makes me feel a little better i'm fine with this because now I can take a nice, uh, nice efficient five capacity plant there. That 34 or that 35, either of those will look fine to me here. The nice thing is, Shane can't buy up any more coal besides he's going to buy two. Like, he's obviously going to buy up two coal. Ooh, he doesn't. He passes on plants. It's a bit of a risky play unless he's doing worse on money than I realized. Shang not stocking oil tells me this is the play. Attack as oil costs more and that 26 is my thinking. Because I'm just going to build a 14 this turn. Right? Or no, 13. Actually, 13 is all I need. So that's cool. Because 7, 4, 13, yeah. I can, I can run 46, 24... An 18. 
So yeah. I'll burn the oil for sure. And the trash. Now I will pass. He's just committing himself further and further to the oil. Because he doesn't have much else of a choice now. Okay. Now I'm extra glad I was running oil on the 46. Thirty nine came, right? Okay. Taking a little bit of a risk here. question is, can I end the game? No. There's no way in hell I can end the game. Not even close. So... The best answer is for me to just build to 18 now. Yeah, I think that's the move here. That's the move in this situation. That 46 is turning out to be worth it, though. Ooh, 36. Hmm. Shang's going to take that and probably drive up my coal, I guess. But I can live with that. Yeah, I just take 34 and end the game now. Pretty sure 36 will be the play for Shang, yeah.
Pretty sure he's running the math to be sure, but I think 36 has to be the play for him. It was basically a 50-50 chance whether that would come up for Shang here. Although, being 39 would also attack me a little bit. Shang would be paying 39 plus 5 for the Uranium. So he'd be paying 44, but no, 36, he'd be paying 36 plus... Eleven, which is forty-eight. So Shang is cost. He, he's paying an extra four dollars for the third to for one turn of running the thirty-six compared to the thirty-nine. But it drives up my cost slightly more. I'm not sure that's mathematically correct for him though. Might have been. Actually, probably is because of me having forty-six and twenty-five. Yeah. All right. I might as well buy an oil since they're the same price now. I think Shang might win this, actually. Close game, though, I bet. You, yes! All right. Well, very, very good game for Shang. I got to head out and go to bed now, but uh, definitely appreciate the game. Thank you very much. And I'm sure we'll be seeing more of Shang on this channel in the future. So great game and good night.